Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I am going to go through in this video question number one from the June 2022 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P1 paper. And this, um, I'm going to go through this paper as I just mentioned, question by question, not go through the whole paper in one video because I'd like to, to save the questions in a playlist with the top with the actual paper and another playlist with the topic that it's from um, and also I'm not going to go through this paper like a timed paper and do the questions in the time that's required for an exam it's nothing like that this is basically just a way for me to explain and help students who might have some problems with certain types of concepts um, so sometimes I go into some detail, sometimes the detail I go into is because students have asked me either in school or on the YouTube channel in some comments on other questions about certain concepts that they're having problems with. So I sometimes have those people in mind while I'm explaining a certain concept. So sometimes I do go into more detail. Um, so I'm not here to be a talking mark scheme. I'm not here just to go through the mark scheme and you know just write down the answers if that's what you're looking for this is not what it's not for you all right this is not for you so don't you know comments like oh why are you taking so long to explain and this and that you know that's you're not if this is not what you're looking for you can find plenty of channels where they will actually just you know go through the mark scheme and just write down the answers i want to explain in more detail certain concepts which i need to for certain students which i have in mind okay so that's uh, something that um, you should know before we start. It's not just a walkthrough for the whole paper. And secondly, I sometimes take a bit of time explaining topics to make sure that those students who miss teaching, homeschooled, had problems understanding, didn't pay attention, whatever, for whatever reason, they need some bit, you know more explanation. That's what these videos are for. So let's start with question number one. Question number one is an integration question. Integration is the reverse or the inverse of differentiation. And when we differentiate, we multiply by the power and we take one from the power in this type of differentiation that we learn in P1. So integration is the inverse of that. So we do the opposite things in the opposite order. So we add one to the power first and then we divide by the new power. That's how we deal with integration. So when we want to integrate something, the first thing we must do is to make sure that each term is ready to be integrated, right? I'm not going to start integrating some terms before others. I'm going to write everything out first, make sure that everything's ready for integration. Now, this last term is not ready for integration the way it's written right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write these as they are. These are fine, so I'll write them as they are. So 10x to the power 5 plus 6x cubed. And then I'm going to write this in index form with the x in the numerator. So we're going to use the the law of indices that 1 over a to the power of my, uh, n is the same as a to the power of negative n. This is like uh, the negative index is like the reciprocal. So I can rewrite this as minus 3x to the power of negative 2. And that now has to be integrated with respect to x. So we have to integrate whatever's in this bracket with respect to x. That's what this means, integrate whatever's inside this bracket with respect to x. This means integrate, this is integral sign. All right, so now everything is ready to be integrated. So there's no, no good you integrating half the expressions and then rewriting this unintegrated altogether in one sentence like I see some people doing. I have to keep things, uh, you know, logical and in order. So now once everything is ready to be integrated, I'm going to integrate. Now once you've started to integrate, you don't write the integral sign again. A lot of students, they keep writing integral sign to the end. Once you started integrating, the integral sign is gone. You don't write it anymore. All right, so now when I add 1 to this power, so it becomes 10x to the power of 6, divide by the new power, I'm not going to write the integral sign now because I've started integrating. Same thing here. Add 1 to the power, so 6x to the power of 4, divide by the new power, which is 4, and here, add 1 to the power. Now, add 1 to negative 2 gives you negative 1. Remember, you're going upwards, going higher up from minus 2 to minus 1. It's not negative 3. That's not, that's not adding 1 to the power. That's taking 1 away from the power. And divide by the new power, which is negative 1. And don't forget with integration, you must put plus C if it is this uh, type of integration, which is indefinite integration. 
You don't have limits, which you don't get in P1 anyway, but you do get them in P2. When there's, li when there's no limits, you have to put the plus C, because when you differentiate something like this, the constant disappears. So when you integrate it, you have to write that constant down as an unknown, plus C. That could have been there before you integrate. Okay, now, of course, we have to simplify. And we can see that in these two terms, 2 is common. So you can write 5 over 3, x to the power of 6. Again, 2 is common in these two terms, plus 3 over 2, x to the power of 4. Negative and negative give you positive. 3, x to the power of negative 1, plus c. That's perfectly fine as your answer. Okay, there's your answer, and that's perfectly fine. Now, if you want to, you can write this term. So you can write your answer like this in instead if you want. You can write uh, plus uh, 3 over 2, x to the power of 4. This can be written as 3 over x using the same law of indices that we just discussed. x to the power of minus 1 is the same as 1 over x. So 3 times x to the power of minus 1 is the same as 3 times 1 over x, which is 3 over x. Okay, so there we have an alternative form to write this particular term. Both of them are perfectly fine. You'll get full marks whether you write this or you write that. Don't forget the plus c. The plus c is worth one mark. Right? A lot of students forget the plus c in integration. Um, and you don't want to throw away marks in an exam. Okay, so that completes question number one. As I said, other questions will be found in the playlist um, from this paper, in the playlist that will appear over here. You can click on that link and it will take you to the playlist for this paper. If you click on the link that will appear somewhere in this region, it will take you to the playlist for this topic of integration of P1. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link that will appear in this region over here. And if you want to see other material, um, P2, P3, P4, IGCSE material, you can go to my description under the video and you can click on the links there. They will take you to some uh, documents like index documents that will help you navigate um, quite easily to different topics and different papers that you might be looking for. Thank you for watching and see you 